Station. Saturday night at 6 on Super 66. You're watching WGBO-TV, combined broadcasting in Chicago. The following program is a fully sponsored paid program. The airtime for this program has been paid for by Chicago Challenge. Chicago Challenge Wrestling featuring wrestling stars of today, tomorrow, the Hall of Fame legends and sinister journeys to the dark side of Bad Street. Brought to you by Haggerty Dodge, Free Bird Buddy Roberts Wrestling Academy, House of Trucks, the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame Classic Home Video, and by One Stop Foods and Miller's Pub. Okay, fans, it's 1973. 1973, we're at the International Amphitheater, September 29th, the last of the Lad Bruiser confrontations. And this time, we have Valiant in with Lad, Bruiser teaming with Bruno San Martino, one of the world's most famous and greatest wrestlers. At that time, reigning supreme as the WWF World Champion. And here he is in with Dick the Bruiser. And this is truly a wrestling Hall of Fame classic. Bruiser and San Martino as partners. Whoops, we got a flipping there on the screen. Well, we got by that. That was a little action on the part of the film. Sorry about that, fans. We're back in the old picture now. Dick the Bruiser. Fantastic action here. Now, this is September 29th, 1973. This was the all-time record gross receipts up until this point for wrestling in Chicago indoors. And this was the main event attraction. Dick the Bruiser and Bruno San Martino versus Ernie the Big Cat Lad and Handsome Jimmy Valiant. Handsome Jimmy Valiant, rough and tough, had always said on television, Hey, look at my face, pretty face, not a mark on it. Well, he got it marked up this night because Bruiser and Sam Martini really worked him over. There's a nice, good, tight shot of Dick the Bruiser, the world's most dangerous wrestler. In comes Lad again. He's got that thumb that has that brace, that wood brace on it, and he uses it to jam into the throats of his opponents. I could never figure out why they ever let him continue with that and never stopped the match. Here we see again, he's in there, gives it to the throat. Down goes the Bruiser. The referee's counting, one, two, but Lad had his foot on the ropes, had his leg, was supporting the hold. Wait a minute. The first fall, wait a minute, though, there was, a, uh, there was an infraction there, I thought. However, the referee said it's a, it's a fall, and the first fall went to... Believe it or not, Ernie the Big Cat Lad. We got the second fall coming up now, fans. This is the second fall of the action. And here we see Dick the Bruiser once again. Lad's one up on in this match. Now, that's something that we hadn't seen in the other two matches of Bruiser versus Lad. We didn't see a fall. All we saw was disqualification in both of those matches. Now, we have seen a fall. Dick the Bruiser pinned in the first fall. Something you won't see, I'll tell you, very rare. In fact, it was not, uh, I, I believe that his foot was in the ropes there. Lad was using his uh, leg as a leverage there in the pin, so therefore it should not have counted. However, referee called it, and it's Henry Van Loon's, the referee of distinction. And Valiant, now they're double teaming Bruiser, double teaming him, Dick the Bruiser, Valiant, and Lad. Lad 6'9", Valiant 6'5". There you got a lot of beef in there. They both had him pinned in the corner, but Bruiser's going to show him where it's at. Bruiser's pounding Valiant into the corner. Look at my face, never been touched. No scars, he used to say Valiant on the air. Of course, you can't say that anymore. And at this time in history, this is when Valiant took a lot of punishment in this particular match. One of the truly great classics of the Hall of Fame the first ever three-part Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame Collector Series is now available through this amazing TV offer. Buy one or all three at the special introductory price of $29.95 each and receive the hilarious blooper tape of the 70s for only $19.95 add $4 shipping and handling for each order. If you like to gorge on wrestling, here's your emotional feast. The first ever Hall of Fame Collector Series. 
the best of the 70s. Your soul forever. It's all original. Bloody matches, exciting profiles, off-the-wall studio stunts. Order one or all three for $29.95 each, and the blooper tape is yours for only $19.95 at $4, shipping and handling. For fast delivery, order by number. Number one, Blood Battles. Number two, Cage Madness. Number three, Monsters. For the action high of your life, order now. Order one or all three for only $29.95 each. And you get the wild and crazy blooper tape for only $19.95 at $4 shipping and handling. Operators are waiting for your call. So call now. If the line is busy, call back. Write the number down. Order your excitement now. If the line is busy, call back. Here's how to order your Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame Classics Collector Series. Call 1-800-333-0901. Ask for Operator 55D. Write the number down and order your excitement now. 1-800-333-0901. In this corner for one stop, the world's greatest black wrestler, Bobo Brazil. Tell him, Bobo. I shop in Chicago at one stop where I buy beer and children's by the case. I love their spare reels by the 30-pound boxes. That is the way I buy and One Stop sells it at the lowest price. Thanks, Bo, for that money-saving tip. Remember, One Stop fans, Chicago's famous food and liquor supermarket. One location only, 4301 South Lake Park. Seven days a week. One Stop. America's number one Dodge dealer for 1988-89, Haggerty Dodge at 3300 West Irving Park, now delivering their new lineup of 1990 models, including the Dodge Spirit, the Daytona, Dodge Caravan, world's best-selling minivan, Shadow ES, Monaco Sedan, the Classic Dynasty, Dodge Omni, and the famous Dodge Colt. Get your deal of a lifetime at Haggerty Dodge, America's number one Dodge dealer, 3300 West Irving Park. Tell them Bob Lou sent you. Okay, there you go. You can the moose. You can the moose. Bye bye. Mo moose Cholak. Mo moose, my man. He's going to be managing Rocky Lethal Lewis on the right in your picture. And the Mountaineer will be Lewis's foe in this. And the Freebirds will be managing the Mountaineer. There's the Mountaineer with the Freebirds. Let me tell you, he's got a story to tell. The Mountaineer. All right, you want to talk about somebody that could be called a character, let me tell you about the Mountaineer. Now, I, wa I want you to know, people always compare you to the people you run around with, and he runs around with the Sinister Minister and Freebird. Let me tell you about this guy, 376 pounds, from the Allegheny Mountains, and he trains by building log cabins and carrying trees found by the Sinister Minister and Roberts while they were on vacation. I didn't know they took a vacation. Wrestles bears for strength, chases deers for quickness, totes logs. Hey, how about that? A half a mile, no, four miles to the mill. Hey, they used to laugh at him until one day he decided, I ain't going to take no more in these here mountains. 25 years old. No, wait a minute, 23 years old. 23, sorry about that, Mountain Valley. Hey, Mountain Valley, that's where he says he went to school. I didn't, I don't know how long he went to school, but let me tell you, this dude is the Mountaineer. And let me tell you, hey, I got one thing to tell you, Mountaineer, you're hanging around with the wrong people. But, needless to say, he's getting the job done in here. Reminds me a little bit about Haystacks Calhoun. This guy reminds me of Haystacks Calhoun, I want to tell you. And look at this. He's working over Rocky Lewis, one half of the pit bulls from the heartland. Rocky Lewis, 270 pounds, no slouch. Six foot one, 19 and a half inch bicep, 55 chest. Hey, this guy was the heartland's heavyweight champion. Wait a minute. Mountaineers working over Moose Cholak in the corner there. Yukon Moose Cholak, don't fool around with Cholak unless you want to fool around with a few punches to your head and you'll be head, your head will be ringing. Look at this now. Cholak's holding him up there and this other guy's pounding on him. It's Rocky Lethal Lewis and Mike Figueroa trying to keep control of this match. The Mountaineer, I want to tell you, if that isn't a young Haystacks Calhoun, I don't know who he is. And there's the count by Figueroa, two count. Lethal Lewis taking punishment. Look at that big dude. What's he reaching for there? What's he reaching for? A small log? He's going to hit him in the head? 
Hey, what kind of guy is this, the Mountaineer? One of the great new characters in wrestling, I would say. Cholak, uh-oh, he's lost his mind now. He's in the wrong corner now. Lethal Lewis pounds in a chop, and the Mountaineer comes right back. The Mountaineer, hey, I want to tell you, big man, a big man, 300 pounds. Got to be 300 pounds. Look at this, Mike Figueroa. Hey, wait, Luth, Luther, Luther, who are... Well, <laughs> Lethal, I mean. Lethal. Pitbull. Lethal Lewis almost got out of control there. Lethal Lewis, the Pitbull. Put the pin on the Mountaineer fans. And this is the Stars of Tomorrow match. There they are, the Pitbulls. Hey, up-and-coming stars. These are the guys of the 90s. Look at those builds. They terrific. And there's the Sinister Minister and Freebird Buddy Roberts. Woo, they got down there. They got one of the Pitbulls down. Hey, Mountaineer, I want to tell you, can I give you some advice? Stop hanging around with them two guys. With a busy lifestyle like mine, convenience is important. This Dodge Caravan from Haggerty Dodge has made my driving much more enjoyable. Come on, kids. Dodge Caravan, the nation's best-selling minivan, is available in five models. Stop in for a test drive. Haggerty Dodge has great financing and affordable monthly payments. My new caravan has room enough for eight, so that's made my life easier. And there's two. I'm Bob Luce here with a member of Pro Wrestling's Hall of Fame, Yukon Moose Cholak. Moose and I are longtime pals and longtime fans of Al's number one Chicago's Italian beef. You could say we're all Chicago legends in our own time. I got a lot to be thankful for, Bob. What I need now is an extra hand to eat Al's Italian beef sandwiches. Two are never enough. Moose, you're just too much. Even for Al's number one Chicago's Italian beef. <laughs> Former heavyweight boxing champion Leon Spinks presents his one stop picks of the week. From the one stop meat department, lean meaty USDA choice, short ribs of beef, fresh chicken legs by the 40 pound box, USDA chicken wings by the 30 pound box, USDA choice round steak and first cut pork chops. Leon, one stop prices on your picks are the lowest in Chicago. Nigga, they didn't do it right. Hey, Daddy, take a tip from super boxing great Leon Spinks. Stock up at the original stock up store. One stop food and liquors, 4301 South Lake Park Avenue. And remember, Leon will be making a personal appearance at One Stop. The date and time to be announced in One Stop's ad specials in the Chicago Sun Times. So look for it. Meanwhile, be sure to visit our completely remodeled store. Now bigger than ever to serve you. Buy the can or buy the case. One stop knocks out high prices. <laughs> That's it, Daddy. Give it again there. One <laughs> stop knocks out high prices. That zing wing there. All right, now the word's out. The insulting remarks made by Freebird Roberts right here on the Chicago television station, Channel 66, has brought all kinds of in incendiary remarks from people around the, the city, and we have changed the lineup for Hammond. Wojo is out because Leon will not get in the ring with Wojo. He already took care of Wojo. Leon wants Roberts because Roberts insulted his wife. And I was there. You saw it on television last week, Betty. I'm glad the card has changed. I'm so happy. I hope he knocks that guy's block off. I hope. I, I don't hope. I know he's going to knock Buddy Robert block off because my husband loved me very much and he don't like no one disrespecting me. That's right, and that was so disrespectful, and I've got so many letters, I, I've had calls, I've never had this kind of response ever in my whole career, and I just think it's, I think it's rotten, it's just ridiculous, and that's why the cards change, doesn't matter what it's going to cost, we've changed the card! And I know you're going to go... Oh yeah, I'm going to Robert, he got to come and talk about my wife behind my back, so that's it. It's like the price of the tick going down, and Robert, I'm going to get to you. Right, the price of the ticket has gone down. You better believe it. Ten bucks, get you in, get you a seat, pal. Ten bucks to see the former world heavyweight boxing champion knock Roberts' block off. And I hope you're there. Betty, I'm sorry about it. I again apologize. We're going to see him get his come up. That's right. This is the place, Al's number one, Chicago's Italian beef. And this is the life, eating an Italian beef. Al's Italian beef sandwich. Chicago's crazy about them because they're 100% top-rated beef, 
juicy with just the right touch of Al's own special sauce with generous portions of delicious top-rated beef packed inside quality fresh Italian bread born in the heart of Little Italy. Everybody loves Al's number one Chicago Italian beef. Lady boxing champ Chris Cruz, the Italian filly, tries to eat two a day. Lady wrestler Sexy Cindy says one is her limit because they're so big. Chicago Freebirds, Buddy Roberts and Sinister Minister, buy them by the box for great tasting action. Reach for the best Al's number one Chicago Italian beef. Locations throughout Chicagoland. Add a great new taste to your life. Join the action at Al's number one Chicago's Italian beef number one because we earned it, baby. For the best buy on a like new used car, buy from the number one Dodge dealer. Haggerty Dodge 3300, West Irving Park. Now offering supervised on low mileage, mint condition pre-owned, late model used cars. Price to fit your budget. Go with the winner. Haggerty Dodge 3300, West Irving, the world's number one Dodge dealer. Number one, because they give the best deal. Hundreds of cars to choose from. Forget the rest, deal with the best. Haggerty Dodge. I'm Bob Luce. Next time you're riding around in the loop, stop in at Miller's Pub. Enjoy Chicago's finest food and drink while rubbing elbows with world-famous celebrities like Yukon Moose Cholak and wrestling legends Dick the Bruiser and Vern Gagne. Immortal Jim Londos was a personal friend of the Galios brothers. Miller's Pub was Bill Veck's favorite saloon, now more famous than ever. Miller's Pub, 134 South Wabash in the loop. Open seven days a week until 3 a.m. Our ribs are famous. Right, Moose? Bob Luce for Jerry and Jimmy of the House of Trucks. Now at their new location, I-55 and Route 83 in Hinsdale. The House of Trucks specializes in late model, heavy duty trucks. If you're buying or selling, be sure to contact the House of Trucks. Easy financing can be handled in large trade packages, bankruptcies or liquidations. For one truck to a hundred, keep the House of Trucks in mind. Visit our new location, I-55 at Route 83, Hinsdale. We'll be looking for you. Buddy Roberts and Sinister Minister, real fans of Al's number one, Chicago's Italian beef. Buddy, your love for Al's beef goes back to the years you were part of the fabulous Freebirds. Hey, no matter where I was wrestling, Al's beef was never out of reach. In Japan, I'd fly them in by the box. Hey, I can see why 100% top-rated beef so tasty and juicy with Al's famous sauce packed inside quality fresh Italian bread. And nobody beats Al's number one Chicago Italian beef. Yeah! Bob Luce for one stop with Leon Spinks, who became the undisputed world heavyweight boxing champion by defeating Muhammad Ali. An incredible achievement, but so is One Stop's record. 43 years on 43rd Street, the South Side's most outstanding supermarket. Selling by the can or by the case with hundreds of items on sale every week, including 30 and 40 pound boxes of chicken wings and chicken legs and 30 pound whole fryers. Open 7 a.m. seven days a week. One stop. Right on. And this is something that we've never had before in the history of Chicago boxing and wrestling. We've got something. We've got security throughout the TV station. We've got security people because of the despicable thing that you did. And it's going to be avenged at Hammond. Hey, you know what? I don't understand what you mean by despic despicable. Hey, all that happened there was, hey, I was only trying to defend myself at the bar and grill. Hey, Betty Spinks, if you remember right, nailed me first with the purse. And all I said was, I call her a broad. Hey, I tell you what, no broads get away with that. Leon Spinks, hey, I respect you. Uh, as a Golden Gloves champion, and then going on to the Olympics for the gold, okay? I respect you for beating Muhammad Ali, okay? What I don't respect you for is standing up for your contract with Wojo. I don't respect you for having, you know what? Your woman is supposed to stand behind you at best. At the most best, the woman should always stand by your side. Yeah, but then you should have done what you did. Sinister, you're his partner. Where do you That's right, I'm his partner. And like my partner said, our broads don't stand in front of us. Speaks, we don't hide behind our broad skirt tails. Get out of the way. Partner, I know they want us to apologize, but I don't think we should apologize because we don't stand behind women, Spinks. 
and we want some of you at Hammond. We're glad that you bought Wojo out. Hey, buddy, what do you think of this I'm sorry nonsense? Hey, you know what? Hey, I made my apology off camera. Okay, Leon Spinks, you want to prove to the world that you are still a champion? Okay, you come on down to the Hammond Civic Center, and you get in the ring with Buddy Roberts, hey, and you go ahead and put your boxing gloves on, and I'll put on my wrestling boots, and let's just see if a wrestler can beat a boxer, or if a boxer can beat a wrestler. I've been curious all my career just to see who can beat who, and you know who I'm going to put my money on? I put it on my family name, the Freebird baby, and I have all the confidence in the world. Hey, I know you could knock my face into 1990. The whole secret is, hey, to knock my face in there, and I'm not going to stand there and let you do it. I have my honor to stand up for it. That's right, Leon Speaks. You better bring the Marine Corps with you. And by the way, Betty, not only are you a fraud, the Chicago Freebirds say you're one big, loud mouth fraud. You're burglar. Fans, I can't believe what I just heard. What? Hey, jeez, I can't believe this. Leon, where are you at, Leon? Come on. Leon, can you imagine that? The names that they called your beautiful wife. I don't care what they say. I'm going to the Freebirds. When the, when the day come up for it to fight, Freebird, you're mine. And that is that. And that's all I got to say. That's it. Well, Leon, I'll tell you, I usually don't get in the middle of these things, but I want to wish you the best. And i tell you, whatever they get, they deserve. I'll tell you, it's terrible. Leon, stick around for just a second. I want to bring somebody else out. I don't know if I want to bring them out. All right. Marshall Christopher. We'll see. We'll see who this guy is in just a second. Let's run that tape that we've got back there. Association undefeated ladies champion. Okay, fans, you saw the tape. You saw what happened. This man right here, what are you holding that up for? So she runs in, she sucker punches a guy. Now, granted, maybe it was a guy. She sucker punches the guy and lucks out. Now, I understand that some retribution is going to come in Hammond on December the 30th. Chris Cruz, Italian Philly, is going to annihilate Cindy. She told me just to bring the belt. She didn't even want to show up. And I don't care if Leon Spinks is in her corner because I got the Freebirds in my corner, Chicago Freebirds. So in other words, what we're saying is Sexy Cindy is going to, is going to wrestle that boxer, so-called lady boxer of yours, in Hammond. Now that's what you're telling me, and you're saying that the Chicago Freebirds are going to be in her corner? They're in my corner. I ain't afraid of anyone with them behind me. They're going to train, help me train Chris Cruz. I don't care if they have Leon Spinks in the corner. Chris is ready to fight, and she told, tell Cindy she's going to get all she can. Well, I'll tell you, Leon, you saw that tape. I got to admit, it was a pretty good punch, but, hey, the guy wasn't ready. But I understand that you're going to be working with Cindy, Sexy Cindy uh, prior to December the 30th. What are you going to teach her to do, Leon? I'm going to teach her how to punch, how to wrestle, but the free bread won't even be in the corner. Period. That's what I can do with them that evening. You got that right, I'll tell you. The free birds are going to be in the corner. Oh, Leon's going to take care of them, I'll tell you. And that lady boxer, that person that, you know, is involved with you. What? Oh, come hey, on. Leon. Hey, I want you, boy. Oh, you got it. Hey, I want you, boy. Get out of here. You got Get security. It. You security. Got it. Get security out here. Get security out here. All right. None of that kind of stuff. We can't, do, we can't do that. Fans, we're lucky we've got the security here. We've got more security than ever in the history, ever in the history of professional wrestling and boxing in Chicago. But, my gosh. You know... She's not supposed to be here. We told her to go out and train because when she punches out, wrestles out, whatever you want to call it, that person. All right, hey, sweetie pie, she and made it. You know it. what I gotta say to you? You see this face? I'm not gonna let my fans down, and there's not gonna be a mark out of place on my face. Well, you're gonna get Cindy, you're in deep trouble. 
That was Lee, Adam, Betty in my corner. That's very I've nice. been over at their house every night for the past six months. You got. I'm ready. You got that right. And fans, we're all ready. Hammond, Indiana, the Civic Center, December the 30th. And fans, we've got some more really important things that we're going to tell you later in the show. So make sure and stay tuned. Freebird Buddy Roberts, a legend in his own time with the original fabulous Freebirds, setting world attendance records that will never be broken. A top trainer of young talent, Buddy started many careers on their way to fame and fortune. Buddy, America's promoters officially recognize your new wrestling academy. Bob, I appreciate the recognition. Thank you. Well, buddy, your wrestling academy is a giant step for the sport in Chicago. As a nationally known world-class wrestler for over 15 years, your leadership guarantees students a big edge on their competition. That's my mission, Bob, training the stars of tomorrow. The next Freebird Roberts Wrestling Seminar will be held Monday, January the 8th at 7 p.m. at the Scottsdale Lanes, 8333 South Cicero Avenue. For further information, contact Freebird Roberts Wrestling Academy in care of the Chicago Boys and Girls Club Valentine Unit, 3400 South Emerald. Call 297-7373. Haggerty Dodge, your number one Dodge truck dealer, has full-size and mid-size trucks. What a selection! Check out this full-size Dodge Ram 100. It's a lot of truck at a price that's truly hard to beat. For an efficient, easy-to-drive fun truck, look at this mid-sized Dodge Dakota. It's the ideal pickup if you're looking for a truck that plays as hard as it works. No other dealer can beat Haggerty for price, service, and selection. Haggerty Dodge, 3300 West Irving Park Road. After a sporting event, the theater, shopping, work, or just driving around downtown Chicago, visit Miller's Pub, 134 South Wabash, open seven days a week until 3 a.m. If sports legends like Dick the Bruiser, Carlton Fisk, or the Chicago Freebirds aren't at the next table, you can be sure they're looking down at you from our gallery of famous celebrities. Miller's Pub 134 South Wabash opens seven days a week until 3 a.m. We're famous! Hammond Civic Center, Saturday, December 30th, 8 p.m., boxer versus wrestler Leon Spinks, former undisputed heavyweight boxing champion versus fabulous Freebird Buddy Roberts. Dick the Bruiser in Spinks's corner with Sinister Minister in Freebird's corner. Plus, first time ever in sports history, Lady Boxer versus Lady Wrestler. WBA Lady Boxing Champ Chris Cruz versus Lady Wrestler Sexy Cindy. Moose Cholak, the special referee. Plus, an all-star supercard. Now, fans, the tickets are on sale now. All Ticketron locations, including all Sears stores and the Hammond Civic Center box office. The prices, ringside, 15 bucks, general admission, 10. So you want that ticket, $10 ticket, it's gonna be right there for you. The next Chicago Challenge nightclub show, by the way, will be held Thursday, January 11th, 8, 8, 8 p.m. start at the Stadium Sports Bar, 10139 South Harlem Avenue, Chicago Ridge, for reservations, 423-2900. And a lot of fans have been asking me, are you going to advertise on that uh, show? I'd like to advertise. Well, that's easy. You just pick up the phone and call Bob Wormus at 423-5124. Again, the Hammond Civic Center coming up on Saturday, December the 30th. Leon Spinks delivered what it takes to become an Olympic gold medal winner and the world heavyweight boxing champion. In this same tradition, One Stop became the original stock-up store and the South Side's most outstanding supermart, celebrating 43 years on 43rd Street, now completely remodeled for your shopping pleasure, with hundreds of items on sale every week. Like Leon Spinks, One Stop continues to deliver what it takes to be the best. One Stop. That's right, Daddy, you said it, One Stop. Mm. Enjoy the spirit of driving from Haggerty Dodge. Check out the new Dodge 